in January, I released a video called my 2017 goals. In it, like I outlined the things I wanna accomplish this year. And I thought maybe a good way to keep up with that would be to monthly release like an update of how I did the previous month. January was the first month of the year and it just ended. So let's talk about the things I got done and like the just like the general cool things that happened to me in January. I did take a little break off of videos around the time that the inauguration happened. Got a lot of feelings and it would put me in a little bit of a rut about making videos. But I swung out of it at the end of the month and February is looking great. I did keep up with my live streams. I live stream every Sunday. I may have slacked off of videos a little bit, but my personal life was rocking with really cool stuff happening. First thing I think I should mention, because I've talked about it before on the channel, and this is something I really care about, is planners. I've mentioned before that I supported Ink and Volt on Kickstarter, and I used their Spark Planner last year. I was gonna make a review this year of unboxing the new one. This is the new one for 2017. I say new so lightly because they didn't change anything about the design. It's the same cover, it's the same paper, it's the same format. I paste in Keanos. These are little advertisements on the subway. I paste them into like all my notebooks. I filled it out for 2017 and I was really disappointed that they didn't change anything about the format for 2017 because I thought there was a lot to be improved upon. So I made like a little video discussing this and I decided I wasn't gonna post it because it was mostly negative. You know, I didn't have anything to compare it to. I was like, I'm still gonna use it though because I'm waiting for my other planner to come in. So this other planner was also kickstarted. It's a German engineered mindfulness diary planner. Of course I want that. So it's called a good plan. And if you follow me on Instagram, like I posted like a picture when I got it in front of that wall, because that's my Instagram wall. It's such an amazing planner. I am so happy to have it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted in a planner. Uh, so it's like a workbook that you work through every day, every month, and it's about mindfulness and living the life that you wanna live. I'm done with my ink and planner. I wish that the a good plan was made of as good of materials as the Ink and Vol planner, but the content is so much stronger. That's where I'm at with planners. I had some really great experiences in January. We'll start off with dinner. I went to Atero, and this is a 17 course prefix. This is the menu that they give us on the way out. I did Instagram while I was at Atero. It just an amazing dining experience, the most expensive place setting I've ever had, but also the best restaurant that I've ever been to, best food I've ever been served. It was incredible. I also saw Wicked. I've never seen Wicked in theater before. It was incredible. It was absolutely amazing. But what I was really blown away by was the Strange Undoing of Prudencia Heart, which is a Scottish play. It's an immersive play, so the theater is a bar, it's a pub, and so like you sit down in the pub, you get drinks, and the play happens around you. The actors are also in the pub. They sometimes interact with the audience, using the audience as kind of props. If you want a little context, I recommend looking up Sleep No More. That's also an immersive play. It's actually at the same theater. However, this is a smaller running production than Sleep No More. Sleep No More is pretty okay, like I've been. I don't want to see Sleep No More again, but you know what I want to see again? The Strange Undoing of Prudencia Heart. It's amazing, it's absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend it to anybody who has a production of it going around near them. So let's talk about the games. I did make a few videos. I made that Slothe video, so I got the Slothe avatars. Frankie got a gold beauty contest trophy, so thank you. I did not release any Neopian Times articles in January. Hopefully I've got like a direction I want to go with that and I just need to grind that out. I sold some stuff in my shop but I want to hold myself to the expectation of ridding myself of 500 items from my safety deposit box in February. And I would also like to do L Estates beauty contest this month and like hopefully I can knock that out. In Flight Rising, I expanded my lair. I made that picking your flight video. I'm trying to do a Flight Rising guide video every registration window because A, that gives me something to add to my Flight Rising 101 playlist 
list, but also it like is an indicator for people who want to sign up for Flight Rising that registration is open. So that's something I think I'm going to do this month. I'm going to do a guide on Baldwin's Brew. I'm happy I made that video in January and I'm looking forward to the one in February. And I also want to expand my lair again in February. In Leiden, I took my Leopon and I bred her. She had four cubs. Two of them were Leopons. One of them was a regular cub with mottled rosette. And then the fourth one is nothing special. I am pretty excited about those two Leopons and the mottled rosette one. I think I'm going to either sell or give it away in my clan somehow. I don't know, I'm working through that right now. And then on Leiden, I want to set up an admin application process for February. You know, like, I want to set it up in February and launch it because people are always asking if they could become an admin and I want them. I like, I want admins in the clan that are gonna help grow the clan because people give so much to the clan and I want to give it back to the viewers who are like playing and enjoying Leiden. I want to work on that. I also really wanted to talk about the books that I read in January. So I'm a huge reader. I love to read. Moving on, you know, there's stuff that I want to do that like brings like a book club aspect to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to run through the books that I read in January. I read The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton and I read this because I binged Westworld during January, like half of North America, and uh, Westworld, the original series, was written by Michael Crichton. So like I was at Barnes and Noble in St. Louis and I was like, I want to get Jurassic Park or like something. They didn't have Jurassic Park. So like I pulled out the good old smartphone and I was like, what else by Michael Crichton should I read? And so I read The Andromeda Strain and I didn't like it at all. Like it was a struggle fest, but I got through it. Then I read Tulip Fever by Deborah McGock. Also didn't like this book. Um, so the film is being released this month, which is why I read it. Like I re found it on a list of uh, books that are being made into movies this year. And I was just like, you know what, whatever, I'll read it and then I'll see the movie maybe. And if I like it, then like I win twice because <laughs> if I like the book, then I get to read a book I like. And if I like the movie, then I get to see a movie based off of a book I like. And that's, that's like double winning. So the book is set during Tulip Mania. I studied abroad in the Netherlands in college. So I like really like tulip mania like that like anything to do with like Amsterdam or like canals and tulips and bicycles is like my jam that's why I really wanted to read it I did not like the book it's almost tulip time and I actually have customizations for my neopets that are based around tulip mania like Kokenhof tulip fields so I'll have to get around to implementing those. I also read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I haven't read Harry Potter, this the first book, since I was in fourth grade. I reread it when I was in fourth grade and I reread a uh, first, second, and third one in preparation for the fourth one coming out. And I like inhaled it in two days. I wanna read the rest of the books, but it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to put pressure on myself to not just run through them because that's what I was trying to avoid because I ran through them the first time I read them. Like I've only read the fourth, fifth, sixth books once. I marathoned them because I wanted to be like the first person in my friend group to finish reading them. I feel like there's a lot of the Harry Potter books I missed because I like rushed through them. The first book, you know, I enjoyed very much and I look forward to reading the other books in the series. However, I'm going to read them after reading other books. Like I'm gonna try to do it so I don't just only read Harry Potter. I also read uh, The Jaunt by Stephen King. This is a short story published in the collection The Skeleton Crew. I only read The Jaunt. Uh, it was posted online, so I was like reading through a discussion and then I saw it linked, so I read it and it was a pretty okay book, a pretty okay short story. I like Stephen King, I read Carrie when I was in eighth grade. I don't think I'm gonna read any more Stephen King though. Then I read another short story, There Will Come Soft Rains by Ray Bradbury. The first Ray Bradbury that I read was Fahrenheit 451 and I read that in December. It's the first time I'd ever read it. I had never been required to read it and it was highly recommended by my peers. So I downloaded it on my phone, I read that and I really like There Will Come Soft Rains because it's 
dystopian lit, which is like my genre. Like I really love dystopian lit. It's a pretty good, pretty good short story. I recommend it. And then I ended January by beginning Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. It's considered one of the greatest books ever written. I'm kind of taking my time through it. Uh, it's really dry, but I want to finish it. So it might take a couple weeks for me to get through. I read Atlas Shrugged, I guess, in December, November through December. It took me like two and a half weeks. And so that also is quite dry. But I, I have faith that I can get through it. Uh, it's just going to take a little while. I'm going on a Baltic adventure this summer, including Russia, and I've always wanted to go. So I'm trying to read books that relate to the countries that I will be hitting up in my tour. It's important to me to get through this book and then find some other books related to the other destinations I will be visiting. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna try to keep up with my video making. I do live stream every Sunday still, and I did it today and it was fabulous. I recorded this on a Sunday and I will be live streaming next Sunday and the Sunday after that and after that. Definitely if you wanna chat and hang out, come to those live streams. I wanna do something in the future where I talk about game concepts based off of books because I think that's a fascinating concept because uh, I just think that books take you out of yourself and are an immersive experience like a game. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye! <laughs>